Recess was wild, insane, but at the same time, if you had a fun friend group, it was definitely fun times overall with the little bros. I don't know if it was just me. When I think about recess, everything that comes to my head is just straight funny nostalgia, memes in real life, sunshine and rainbows 24 7, like nothing could ruin it, not even the toxic bullies. Basically, this thumbnail is how I imagine it. For the few Patrick stars living under their rock who are away from society that don't know what recess is, apparently, recess is basically a period in which a group of people are temporarily dismissed from their duties, which in Gen Z terms means the little bros need a break from the teacher waffling about boring subjects that make you want to jump off a bridge in minecraft obviously now let's be real for a second now act like us kids were all serious and hardcore brainiacs or wanted to become internet influencers in elementary school or at least the majority okay the majority of the kids just wanted to have fun goof off with their friends and they couldn't just wait to get out of class aka me what i really loved about recess is that i met most of my homies in there and sometimes we wouldn't even be playing or at least with my close friend at the time we would always just talk about life and random things like assassin's creed other video games and tv shows like the flash because at one point the Flash was actually decent to watch. Conspiracies from random nerds on the internet who think they're the smartest in the room. Freaking Smosh videos in their prime. GTA 5 and a whole lot of hilarious, dark, edgy memes. They're honestly so edgy even for me nowadays. I ain't gonna lie. Now that I look back as a kid, we definitely shouldn't have been consumed by that much stuff. But I think we turned out all right. Or I think I did. I don't know. I don't give a fuck. But yeah, combos with the homies and recess or anywhere in general always hits different. Shout out to the homies for real, man. Y'all the goats. It's nothing better than talking about life with people you consider brothers, man. Let me know if you had any friends like that in the comment section. In class, the boys and girls I knew always planned out different intense game modes to do in recess. Yes, we was getting strategic in this bit. It's kind of crazy how creative we were as kids, even though the ordinary NPC humans, they would look at it as simple fun. But we were basically role playing like we were creating video games that wasn't garbage. Now we have GTA RP for that. If you were playing tag in recess, just just be prepared to have your heart racing a thousand beats per second you're gonna be so nervous that your whole body is gonna be filled up with sweat bro literally got wet hey yo you better be able to run faster than a cheetah or else the guy's gonna catch up to your goofy self ah, caught you dummy it's honestly a different type of exercise if you're trying to lose weight play tag but instead of it being a normal exercise you have to watch your back every second like you're on a five star wanted list on gta and the fbi wants to take you out and no, I'm not talking about them taking you out to dinner. Instead, they want to take you out dead or alive. Of course, I wish alive, please. I'm too young to die. You wanna catch me on my John Wick stuff because I refuse to lose. Mama didn't raise no loser, bro, respectfully. Another way to survive is trying to blend in with the crowd like an assassin in Assassin's Creed and try to hide in certain areas of recess if you're able to do that. But at the same time, if you do that, you're either lazy, trying to play it smart, or straight up chicken. Because I'm sorry, but that sounds boring to me. Obviously, if you're trying to catch your breath, that's understandable. Because not all of us are track runners. We can't be running the whole time. We find to run out of gas sooner or later. <laughs> looking at now, i'm gonna keep it a buck right now i wasn't the skinniest i wasn't the fastest or the greatest hider alive unlike some kids who mastered their abilities but one thing i did have was adrenaline a whole lot of it i probably looked at myself as a video game character and was like yeah let me just boost speed endurance all the way up and leave the rest of the stats alone the reason why i say this is because i swear there was a day i was getting chased from this girl who was basically known for being the fastest kid around and somehow i was able to come out on top and i was chilling at the end I was a different breed indeed. I wasn't perfect every time, but for the majority, I was that guy. You could just say I'm him, to be honest. The sun was definitely hitting for your boy during them intense chase scenes. I think your boy started to get a tan for the amount of times I was outside. Bro was turning bronze. You know what a really good feeling is? Is when the breeze starts to hit in your face. Like, yes, breeze, keep hitting it in my face. Wait, hey, yo. You know what I mean. Especially when you're feeling hot. Muy caliente aquí, man. I swear I love those days, man. I could never forget. For some reason, necking was a huge trend in my school. So there would be random kids trying to terrorize everybody. You know how people palm bald people talking about some Michael Jordan? Instead of that is this, basically. Like, ouch. You get the point. There would be random kids ready to terrorize anyone who is just relaxing on the grass minding their business just to get necked by a random dude with huge hands leaving the most excruciating painful red mark you're gonna see that man's handprints for at least a month like dang dog why you gotta do it so hard i swear they were in the beginning of their menace of society phase i did that with my friends but i feel bad now because i could have broken someone's neck if i wanted to i think someone got hit so bad they went to the nurse one time rest in peace to my brother in christ for real if anyone ever got necked and got hurt badly i wish y'all speedy recovery a few of my friends tried to do parkour because at the time parkour videos were trending on youtube but obviously instead of jumping off a building it was more like jumping around the playground or using the monkey bars which obviously i failed on but hey it was fun or it was fun until one horrible day we try to speed up the parkour and run like there was a countdown to see who can do it the fastest my stupid self was probably in his alpha face 
I try to be competitive without being focused and eventually I hit myself in the head on something metal. Metal pole of death. If it was anyone else, I'm sure their head or better yet their brain would crack. But I guess I had the forehead of steel. Stop playing Superman, you don't want the smoke. Alright, let me shut up like my little bro self wouldn't get whooped by Superman. I swear I thought I was invincible back then. To the point I just did very dumb things. Lesson of the day is don't be an idiot like me and try to show off. It's never worth it, especially if you gotta get hurt from it. Your cockiness and recess will come to haunt you one day. Or don't listen to me, I don't care. There would be that one relationship in fifth grade where they would be holding each other's hands and everyone would be like, whoa, Jack and Jessica, sitting on a tree. K-I-S-S-I-N-G. The biggest definition of interfering with someone's game right there. Like, let my boy Riz up, you feel me? He got that charisma. Speaking of relationships, even though most people thought love was stupid or stupid in love, in recess, if you were known as the fastest kid, you would get the girl. I know, I get it, it sounds stupid, and people thought you would be lying about that, but honestly, it was like that. Well, sort of. I mean, the girls were probably trolling, but the guys definitely didn't think so. They would have a race on the track since we had one near the playground and start one to see who was the fastest. That was the kid version of flirting in recess. I even was in the race too, but obviously for fun, I didn't really take it seriously. That or actually being somewhat normal and having a genuine conversation walking around. We didn't have many bullies in our school, but the few we did have were the most evil, horrible, crazy beings alive. Like seriously, did your mom not love you or something? Why are you trying to ruin our fun? They'll be the ones teasing everyone for just breathing air. Like sheesh, even Wednesday Adams had some fun. There is no AR that dark and menacing. They would be trying their hardest to be included in everything. Even though everyone hates these type of people during recess, the amount of negative negativity and toxicity in their soul is far beyond my comprehension of understanding and living. Like I don't know how these people are human. But I can only feel sorrow for these young bulls. I get it, you don't get no love from your father or mother. Trust me, I get it. Family issues overall is crazy. But that don't mean you gotta put that negativity on everybody else. Sheesh. If you weren't having fun with your friends, walking around talking about sus stuff, or surprisingly intellectual and interesting conversations, which when it does happen would be a totally different vibe, or bullying people causing mayhem and darkness until the teacher catches you, you're probably one of the lonely kids. And there's nothing wrong with that, and of course it's good to socialize with people, but at the same time, if you don't like talking to people with weird vibes or energy, then that's fine because lord knows I tried being friends with people I didn't like. Don't ask, I was bored and I didn't feel like being lonely at the time. Luckily though, I did have close friends to relate to. You were probably lonely just chilling, not even sad, but at the same time you feel like you're out of place. You could also be that one kid who reads books. Because I remember seeing this one girl near this tree just chilling reading a book. I'm over here thinking it's Dr. Seuss, but instead it would be some high school level book. Dottie says she's trying to get her knowledge up, not her funny up. And you know what? I can respect that. Overall, recess was the greatest experience for me as a kid, and I definitely miss it. But I can only imagine younger people in recess right now. They probably doing TikTok dances trying to go viral and pranking everybody like they jitty on knowing well they just annoying everybody. Like bro, if you're gonna do that, go prank in Walmart or something. Like bloody bell, man. I'm already knowing these kids probably just sitting in the bottom of the slide playing Roblox on their phone instead of actually writing on the slide. It was definitely fun for me and it shows even the most simple things are more enjoyable than video games like NBA 2K23. Comment down below any experiences you had during recess. If you want to interact with me, I'll put my social media and Discord link down in the description below. If you haven't already, I'd very appreciate you hit that like button and subscribe with post notifications on to know when I drop another video. Stay blessed and I'm out of If you enjoyed today's video, Go check out this random video and follow socials to keep up to date with Jeffrey Blessed.